Jeffrey, it's good to have you back. So now what in oil? Well, I think we have more downside. When you look at the demand losses, they're unprecedented, not only in oil, but the entire commodity complex, and particularly those commodities that are more leveraged to this whole idea of self-isolation. Oh, you look at not only is oil down because we're not uh, moving around, but also things like beef that are leveraged to restaurant demand, um, they're down, like limit down day after day. And so when we look at the entire commodity complex, what we're arguing now is that prices simply need to go to cash support, um, to go down to those levels where you begin to shut in production. We saw WTI go down to $20 a barrel yesterday, actually Midland. The WTI that's um, further west in Texas went in and had a teen handle on it yesterday, which just underscores the type of price levels we're going to that's trying to force that correction. Now, there's another dynamic that's um, at play here that's really became more important in commodities in the last, I would say, you know, two to three days, which are liquidity constraints. And if you look at gold, a lot of people are asking, why is gold going down right now? One of the key reasons why gold is going down is because people are selling assets to raise cash. And what we're seeing, even in oil, and you can see it in the spreads across the the futures curve, is they're beginning to blow out because funding costs are rising sharply. People are selling the commodities to be able to raise cash. Think about a commodity as simply being physical dollars. And so by liquidating inventory, liquidating the position, you're able to raise cash and help your cash balances, particularly mm-hmm. in the tumultuous time so, period. So, you know, what we argue, a lot more downside risk relative well, to our $20 target. $20 target. So let me just ask you this, and then, and then I got to go. Um, and and I try not to make it, make it long. If you, if you have a deal between Saudis and the, and the Russians, but yet you still have an, an, an economic massive problem like we do, how does that balance? Does that balance each other out with the, with the price of crude? Think about it this way. When they made that decision a week ago, if it's been almost 10 days ago, the demand losses were running around 5 million barrels per day. You look at shale production, it's around 7.7. So if you want to undercut all of that shale production, you need to add about 2.7 million barrels a day of extra supply on the market. Now, those demand losses are 9 plus million barrels per day, getting bigger by the minute. It's bigger than all of shale which is why you see this morning um, they're canceling freight rebates. There's a lot of concern about there may be just too much oil on the market relative to um, the demand levels, which is why you're going to hit these physical constraints in the system. You're not going to be able to deliver another barrel of oil in the system. That's when you start to see the real downside, particularly in the landlocked crudes.